Hey guys, it's Russ here, PokeRuss here, and we are back. We're back for another episode of The Legend of PokeRuss uh, Randomizer Nuzlocke in the Platinum version. So, um, in the last episode, we took down the gym leader who had a lot of baby Pokemon. It was kind of weird. Uh, that's where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to the Mart. Um, so, she had a Why Not, a Ralts, and a Togepi. So she was kind of a pushover, not gonna lie. <gasps> we can buy Great Balls. Okay, so we're buying five Great Balls. We're buying five potions. And we're buying some Super Potions. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we were able to continue on. We fought our rival. Surprisingly, didn't lose anybody. That's where I thought the big issue was going to be. Um, and we're able to continue on to the next route. So, um, if you guys are hyped for the series, leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe if you are not. Um, yeah. Okay, so we are in Route 209, which means we get an encounter. We also get a special encounter on this route, so we're going to do that here soon, too. So let's try and get this encounter. Uh, who do I want to throw up front? Uh, let's throw Edison up front, because he can Thunder Wave. Um, his attacks aren't too, too strong right now, so probably one of the best for catching Pokemon. Okay, so our counter for 209 is... A Vespa Queen! I'll take it. I've never played through with a Vespa Queen before. Okay, so that's not going to do too much. That was actually a crit. We're going to spark it. See how much this does. Okay, okay. Going for a nice water gun. Hopefully we don't take it out. Okay, good. Pursuit won't do too much, whatever. Okay. Defense order. Yes, it knows the the orders. That's beautiful. Okay. So, let us try and catch this thing. So we have great balls, which is amazing. We're going to try to catch this Vespa Queen. Hashtag triple jiggle. Yes! So, we got our Vespa Queen. Okay, what's Vespa Queen's Pokedex say? It releases various pheromones that makes the grubs on its body do its bidding while fighting foes. The grubs on its body. It's weird. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, we're going to give a nickname to Vespa Queen. Um, what are we going to nickname Vespa Queen? We're going to name you. We're going to name you Cage, because one of the famous things from any Nicolas Cage movie. If you've heard Nicolas Cage, you've heard "Know the Beach, Know the Bees." So we're going to call you Cage. Cage. The. Vespa Queen. No, the bees, not the bees, not the bees! So we got Cage the Vespa Queen as our encounter for this route. That's extremely awesome. Let's get this item after we see what this is. Probably gonna be another Vespa Queen. A Noctowl, okay, okay. Quite a hoot hoot, so good thing we didn't run to that. That would have been, um, species. Dupes Claws. Whatevs. Heal ball, always good. Not necessary once when we have. Uh, okay, so let's try to sneak this way. Okay, let's try. It's probably okay. We can't avoid a double battle, but we have lantern and um, Nido Reno in the front. So I think we we, we got this. Drapion and Breloom. Okay. Not exactly what I wanted to see, but we can make it work. We're going to want to switch out with Lantern. We're going to switch out into Bird Jesus. And then we are going to Gunk Shot the Breloom. Dream Man use Acupuncture on Breloom. There's the Gunk Shot. I did loads, almost taking it out real quick there. There's a headbutt. Okay, that's fine. 
We are going to quick attack the Breloom, take it out, and we are going to... Um, you are Dark Poison, Dravion, so I'm going to double kick you. I think that's neutral. Oh, we get hit by Effect Spore. Okay, that kind of sucks. There's an Acupuncture on Drapion. Raising a special defense. There's the double kick. Let's see how much this does. It does absolutely nothing. So we're going to go for a nice... It's a poison... Okay. Uh, we'll go for a nice gust. Uh, we need to switch out. We need to get a nice physical attacker in here. Um, poison dark with special defense. I'm just going to switch into original. Just because that stomp does so much damage. There's a pin missile. Bird Jesus can eat that up. So many pin missiles, holy gosh. Bird Jesus is paralyzed, can't move, that's fine. Okay, whatever. We're gonna gust you. We're gonna stomp you. Right into the ground. My focus or my quick claw is going to proc. It's gonna be a nice stomp. Hopefully we flinch it. Yep. A bunch of bird Jesus is paralyzed. Okay, we're done dealing with paralysis. We are going to... Use a Charty Berry on you. And we are going to stomp you. So it doesn't look like this Drapion has any other than Pin Missile. Now we can go for this gust. Now we can go for this stomp and call this thing a game, hopefully. It's raising a special defense. There's another gust, and there's another stomp. Do we need to stop? Do we need to stop? Nope, we took it out. Okay, so all those acupunctures did crapola, and Edison worked its way to level 22. Everybody gained experience, it's awesome. So we defeated Bob and Sir. Sir? Is that what his name was? I don't know. Okay, so... Please, let us, let's have a battle with the Pokémon you've raised. There's a swine up. Okay. I don't have Swine. Swine up probably has a ground move, so I should probably switch out. Uh, we're going to switch into. I don't know what I want to switch into. This is weak to ground. This is weak to ground. This is. We'll stay in. Okay, we took it out one hit. Next, they're going to switch into coughing. That's a perfect time for Rika to come in, just confusing the crap out of it. So, uh, my question of the day, guys, since we're having a little bit of easy downtime, hopefully. Um, question of the day is, what Pokemon game have you, like, played through the most? Not, like, uh, most hours, like, I'm sure you have a game with most hours, but is there a game you've ever restarted and played and restarted and played and restarted and played, played Pokemon-wise? Mine would probably have to be Diamond. As soon as I got Platinum, um... I started doing it, I would constantly uh, play through Diamond over and over and over again. Um, usually just grab a starter, didn't matter which one, and run through the game with just that starter. The star starters in this game were probably the most balanced in what, like, they're all just, just as strong as each other kind of thing, at least for playthrough-wise. And, like, there was one challenging trainer that he was coming up. He has a, he has a Gyarados. He's right before you enter Veilstone. He was the only one that gave me problems when I used um, on Fern er, Infernape. I just had to grind a little bit more with him. Like I just had literally had to take on every trainer on the way up, and then I have no problems. Um, we're gonna switch out. Um, but other than that, we like that game. I I've probably restarted at least a dozen times. Just ran through. Um, I think I was actually running through till I got the Master Ball. Or I, I 
yeah, running, running through till I got the Master Roll, which is pretty far in the game. And trading it over to my Platinum so I could catch the Legendaries in Platinum, and then restarting, playing through with just Starter, so on and so forth. So since there were so many Legends in this game, this was the start of, like, the Ubers and Ubers of amounts of Legendaries. Okay, so here is the Odd Keystone. This is our special encounter for this route. So we are going to heal up Edison, but leave Edison out front because it is our uh, hopefully super useful catching tool. But we can place this odd keystone that we got. It seems to be broken. A crumpled tower made of stone. It seems like a perfect spot to fit for the odd keystone. Would you like to place the odd keystone? The stone tower has been restored. Hallowed tower is written on it. So I put the odd keystone in. That's weird. I thought I really thought I got. Hmm. I need to check that out actually, because that should be Spirit Tomb Pokemon Platinum. Okay. After the take two, then press A to place the second part of the quest is the hardest you have to complete. Talk to thirty two people in the underground. Oh that's dumb. Okay, so I guess we're not gonna get spirit to him, because I guess you have to talk to a lot of people in the underground, and because this is a ROM, that's probably not going to happen. So that kind of sucks. Okay. Revival Herb, kind of useless to us. Did this route switch being a thing? I'm not sure if it's still 207 or did it change when we turned the corner. So 209, still 209, and then Selassie on town, and then 2 210. So um, we can actually get another encounter if we hit up Selassie on town. Oh, you almost tricked us, didn't you? There's our Vespa Queen, buddy. We could have caught a smear goal. That would have been very interesting. Three Pokemon and just a little patch of grass. Ugh. I should really switch Riku to the front. Okay, so this that Smeargle wasn't as fast as the other Smeargle. So let's switch Rika up front for now. So we can avoid things. Um, I wonder if we get this tower. Is this tower a new route? It is not. Is it when we go up the stairs? Okay, so this is not a new route, so we're, we're not going to go up here yet. We'll explore it in the next episode. But I want to try to get one more encounter for this episode. Oh, they... they turned. Um... okay. I didn't expect that whatsoever. Salamance and Steelix. That is not a good day. We need to get rid of the Salamance stupid quickly.
Gauge yourself in confusion. Bite. Okay. Oh. There's the gunk shot. And we got the poison. So we got the confusion and the poison. There's a rock tomb going in on Rika. Rika can take this, right? Come on, Rika. You got this. Okay. Her lowered speed. There's the poison. We're gonna magical leaf? No. We're gonna confusion you, and we're going to heal up uh, Rika. With the poison in this confusion, we should be able to take out Salamance this turn, especially if hopefully it doesn't attack with... Come on, hit yourself confusion, headbutt, okay. See how much this does? That does scary amounts of damage. So Salamance is taken out by its own partner. Checkmate is up to level 23, and it wants to learn Horror Attack. Forget a move. Uh, no. Uh, never mind. Give up on Horror Attack. Keep old moves. Give up on learning Horror Attack. Essence to learn Takedown. Forget a move. Uh, we'll forget. Can, uh, we'll, we don't need to learn Takedown. It's not a physical mon. It's a special mon. Give, on, uh, give up on Takedown. And we will Dizzy Punch. Or not Dizzy Punch, Double Kick you. So, hopefully between Magical Leaf and Dizzy Punch. The Showbell is putting uh, in a lot of work here. Okay, so Rika's level 25. She's really growing. If this was a normal game, she'd be killer for the next gym, since it's a fighting-type gym. Okay, so we're in this town. Yahoo! Hey, Poké Ross, I've got something cool. I show, I'll show you as a special favor, huh? What's this all about? I got some seals, but I forgot how to put them on. All right. Let's come in the ruins. Hidden machine defog. Okay. So that's how you get defog. So we're going to head in there anyway because we want to get another encounter. And I think that's where probably, once we get our encounter, that's probably where we're going to end today's episode. Um, maybe. We'll see. Okay. So even though there's, it tells us how to do it there, we're going to explore a little bit on our own. There's an Asper Berry. Gotten so many berries. So that's the way we need to go. Nothing there. Nothing there. No encounter yet. Let's head down here. Got an energy powder. That's not bad. Not bad. We're not trying to get our Pokemon to like us too much. Not. Oh, we do have a trainer here. That text went really quickly. Clerk has a float soul. Okay. Rika's got this. Rika's gonna come in here and ruin Christmases. Granbull. You know what? I think we're going to stay in here. Because even though it's a nor uh, normal type and fighting moves would be good, it has that intimidate. So might as well just go for nice stabs. 
Ming Granbull does have Bite, so that's something we do gotta watch out for. But I think two Magical Leaves will easily take it out, yeah. So, there's the Bite. Should be living that no problem. Should be living that no problem. Cascoon. So we are going to switch out into our Kongalala here, just for some easy experience. Um, we're probably going to uh, move the experience share over to um, Original in the next episode. The Original is going to take a lot of experience to get up to its next form. And though Stomp is nice, we need some we need some more moves on him. If we can make Monferno up to uh, Infernape, I'll probably end up using Gold Tackle with it. So that'll be amazing. Let's sneak down here. Any items there? Nope. And no encounter yet. I know there's encounters in here. Did I accidentally go back the way I came? Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Now we're going to explode. We're going to. Finish exploring this cave and get defog before we end today's episode. Okay, so I am lostish. We're gonna follow the inscription. Top right. Top right. Lower left. Top right. Top left. Top left. Lower left. Okay, so top right, lower left, top right again, top left. Okay, so we were heading the right way. Um, we just went top left, so we need to go top left again. And then lower left. There we go. There's our defog. Good, good, good. I'm not looking forward to teaching that to anybody. And Hanaberry. Another experience share. Oh. And a stable mulch. So we're going to give that experience share to... Original, I think. <laughs> and yeah. Okay, let's read this and then one today's episode. Friendship. All lies through others. Lives to cre er, lives to create something. I can't read that. Um, A and E. That's weird. I couldn't read the second to last word or third to last word. Oh well. Um, so that's where we're going today's episode, guys. Oh, there's our encounter. We totally forgot about our encounter, and it's a Rampardos. That is power, and it's level 27. That's huge. Holy gosh. Um. Oh, I'm, I'm so afraid that this Rampart is going to wreck us, because usually when we go over our 20-minute marks, something bad happens. If you go back and watch the videos, you'll understand. 
Last series of the series. We just gotta make it through this encounter. There's a takedown. See how much it does. That does so much. Hit with recoil. Okay. Um, we're going to use another super potion because this is frightening as all s sin. After this, I might switch into original. That was probably that should probably should have been my first idea. We're gonna thunder wave you. Good thing we didn't switch into original. Really wish we would use takedown again, kinda. Uh, we are going to use a potion on Edison. Okay, we're gonna try to use a spark here, see how much damage it does. Okay, we're gonna go for the Pokeballs now. One, two, three. Hashtag triple jiggle. Yes, so we got Rampardos. Yeah, that is huge power on our team. It's the highest level we've gotten. Which frightens me that these wild Pokemon are stronger than I am. Oh my god, yes, we're going to name, nickname, give a nickname to Rampardos. We're going to name you Barney. Barney the Rampardos. Okay, so we got Rampardos here, guys. In the next episode, I think I'm going to heal up my guys, because a lot of them are pretty injured. Um, we might switch out Rampardos for uh, original. Because Rampardos is pretty power. I will see you guys then. We'll make that decision then. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day.